What's up everybody, welcome to my channel, I'm Ricky Chan and today I'll be showing you guys how to root your Pixel 5 by unlocking the bootloader and entering into fast boot mode. And I'll also show you guys how to make it past safety net. The Google Play Store has apps that are hidden normally from rooted devices and paying apps like Google Pay won't work on rooted devices as well. That is because of safety net. Well, we'll make our rooted device past safety net today. Things you'll need. Pixel 5 with over 60% battery life, USB Type-C, Windows PC, you can use Linux or Mac if you know how to use their terminal commands, minimal ADAB and fast boot program for your PC, platform tools, stock factory ROM for your Pixel 5, Magic Manager Canary APK, and the Termux ABK. All downloads are in the link in the description below. Before we start, I have to give a little disclaimer. Unlocking your bootloader and rooting your device can possibly void your manufacturer's warranty and possibly even break your device. Continue at your own risk. Now let's begin. Download and install minimal ADB fast boot. Download and install here. Download here. Uh, scroll down. Download the newest version here. Click on that. Click download here. And click primary download or any of the mirrors. And save it to anywhere and install it. Okay. And then you need to download the platform tools folder here from this website. So you go to this website, SDK platform tools. Scroll down to right here. It says SDK, download SDK platform tools for Windows. Click on that. You can read the terms and condition if you want. And click on I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions. And now click on download SDK platform tools for Windows. Download it and save it to somewhere you can remember. Okay, I have it already saved um, here. So what you want to do is um, open this file, uh, zip file that you download the platform tools. Open that up. Extract this folder here out to somewhere you can remember, maybe the desktop or wherever is convenient for you. I already have it here. And now we're going to go over to our Pixel 5. And we're going to head over to settings. Uh, go scroll down to about phone. Scroll down and make sure you turn on the developer's mode by rapidly clicking on build number until it says you are now a developer. Then go back one. Uh, where you see system, click into that. Where you see the advanced tab, click on that. And now you have this uh, developer option right here. Open that. And we want to make sure OEM is clicked enable. So you enable that and agree to it. Restart our phone by uh, holding down the power button and clicking restart and holding down the volume button at the right now. And your phone will start restart back up into fast boot mode. Okay. And you can see down here in yellow, it says locked. The device status is locked. We want to change that to say unlocked in red. Go back to our PC. In the Windows search, type in CMD or you could type or however you want to open your command prompt. Click enter. And you want to type in CD space. You want to go over to your platform tools folder and drag and drop it onto the command prompt so it'll populate the destination. Then hit enter. Mm, to make sure your phone is connected, type in the command prompt. Fast boot devices with the S at the end and hit enter. And if this will be your phone serial number and it will say fast boot, that means your phone is connected. Okay, now to unlock the bootloader, you're going to type in the command prompt fast boot flashing unlock and then we hit enter. There you go. <laughs> Now head over to the Pixel 5. It's going to say right here, do not unlock the bootloader. What you want to do is type, uh, press down on the volume button one time. And then it will change to unlock the bootloader. Now press the power button to unlock your bootloader. You can see down here, it says unlocked in red. That means it worked. Now you can hit the power button where, when it says start. Move, it, move the volume button up and down if uh, it doesn't say start. So just make sure it says start right there and power button. Now your bootloader is unlocked and your phone is going to be um, 
reset into factory settings. Now you get this new screen um, that tells you, uh, warning, uh, your bootloader is unlocked. Pixel 5 is going to reset into factory settings. Just like how you got it when it was new. Okay, now our Pixel 5 is back to factory settings. What we're gonna do is uh, now we're gonna we're gonna do the initial settings uh, setup and do all that, and then we're gonna head over to your PC. We're gonna root our Pixel 5, and we're going to make it pass safety net. Okay, we gotta we gotta go over to developers uh, website and download uh, your factory ROM. Okay. So let's go over to the developer's website. Oh, first you got to go over to your, your Pixel 5. You want to you get the build number. So you want to go into settings. Scroll down until you see about phone. And scroll down until you see build number. And that's your build number. Remember that. And uh, go over to the, the website for factory image for Nexus and Pixel devices. Scroll down until you see uh, Redfin for Pixel 5 and match your corresponding build number mine is this one right here and you want to click on link do not click on flash click on link so you can download it open up the factory rom zip that you just downloaded um, extract the folder inside here i already have it right here open this folder up and open the image redfin zip folder up and you want to copy or extract this boot IMG over to where you can remember. I already have it here. You want to connect your Pixel 5 to your PC. Make sure the file transfer is on. And you want to go to computer and open up the internal storage of your Pixel 5 and go down to the downloads folder and move that boot IMG folder over to the the downloads folder. Make a copy of it over there. <laughs> like so. And now you want to download um, Magic Manager Canary app. So you want to go to this link here. You want to download it. I already have it here so I don't need to download it. Manager app is going to be called App Debug APK, but it's actually the Magic Manager app. Okay, so you want to copy that over here. And also, you want to download and install onto your Pixel 5 this Termix application as well. So let's download that. You go to the link right here. You click, go down here, click download. This is a terminal app that lets you uh, use terminal like a command prompt kind of thing on your Pixel 5. So you want to download this I have it here already so I don't need to download it and move this over here to oops, sorry move copy here go back to our piece of five open up the file browser here go into the downloads folder now you want to install Termex uh, let it allow to download your uh, from allow from this source here click that on go back Click install. Done. We don't need to open it yet. Go back to the downloads folder. Open up the app debug APK, which is the Magic Manager app. Click install. Click open. Now in the Magic Manager app, next to Magic, there's an install right here. Click on that. Oh wait, first you gotta have internet connection, sorry. So set up your inter internet connection if you haven't done so already. Okay, so my internet is connected now. So you want to go to the Magic Manager app. And next to Magic, click install here. And select, select and patch a file here. And you want to go into the downloads folder and select the boot IMG that we moved over from our com computer to uh, our Pixel 5. Okay. And then you hit let's go up here. Now what Magic Manager is doing is patching that boot IMG. So let it finish flashing. And it's going to create a file in that downloads folder. It says all done. That means it's all done. And we can go into our file manager. 
and see the magic under that patch IMG that Magic Manager just created for us. We want to move this over to our PC, okay? Connect your phone to your PC. Head over to your PC. Go into your uh, Pixel 5's internal minute, internal storage. Click into the downloads folder and oop, refresh it. You might have to unplug and plug it back in for it to show up, okay? Uh, yeah. So unplug your Pixel 5 and replug it back into your PC. And make sure file transfer is on. Now go to your PC again. Uh, open up the internal storage of the Pixel 5. Go into the downloads folder. There you go. Now you see that magic patch IMG. You want to move it to save it somewhere on your PC so you can remember. I'm going to move it here. I already have it here, so I don't need to actually move it anymore. Now, if you still if you don't have your command prompt still open, you could type in uh, CMD under Windows here. In Windows search here, CMD. And you can open up a command prompt. And you can type in CD uh, space and drag and drop the platform tools over and hit enter. Uh, let's, we got to restart our phone back into um, bootloader, uh, the fast boot mode. So power off your device, hold down the volume down button and power it back on. Now you're back in fast boot mode. Now I'll go back to your PC. You want to type in fast boot flash. Boot, oops, flash space boot, flash boot space flash space boot. Is that right? Yeah, fast, fast boot, flash boot. Okay. Yeah, uh, space and take the magic patch IMG that Magic Manager created, drag and drop it over to the command prompt, and now press enter. Sending boot should say OK, writing boot should say OK, and finish, and you're all set. You can restart your Pixel 5. And now your phone should be rooted. You can tell that your phone is rooted if you go into the Magic Manager app. Right here it says install magic. Don't press it, but that means root, your phone is rooted. You can see right here. Alright, so now that we rooted our Pixel 5, what we want to do is um, pass safety net, okay? So to do that, what you want to do is go into your Magic Manager. There will be a gear icon on the top right. Click on that. Scroll down until you see Magic Hide. Enable that. And right above that is a Hide Magic Manager. Click on that. And what this is going to do is change the Magic Manager, uh, Magic Manager's name and icon, and so it could, so it could hide from Google. Okay, so I'm going to change it to M Manager. Who did I hide? No. Press OK. Uh, add shortcut to home screen. Nope, I don't need that. So you go into your your app drawer now and you'll see this uh, M manager icon here with the little head of the Android so we move that onto the desktop now go back into manage manager which now is called M manager and you want to click on this shield icon here on the bottom of the, the app and you want to click on Magic's Hide. And you want to open up the Google Play services like that. And now you want to enable all of this. Make sure that is click everything on. Like so. Okay. And if you have Google Pay or any uh, pay paying app, it'll show up here. Make sure it's checked as well. Or if, when you download it, come back into here and make sure it's checked, okay? Now go back one, and there will be like this little puzzle piece on the right bottom here. Click on that, and a search icon will pop up. Click on the search icon. 
Now in the search field, type in magic, M-A-G-I-S-K, and you'll see magic hide props config. Click on that and click on install. Now we will reboot. Press the reboot right there. Uh, open up your Pixel 5. And now you want to go into the Termux, um, the Termux application here. And you want to type in S U to give to grant this uh, to grant this app super user. Hit grant. Now you want to type in P R O P S and hit enter. And you want to type in uh, the number two for force basic key attestation and hit enter. And now you want to, you want to type in D for a pick from device list and hit enter. And now you want to pick from uh, uh, type in seven for Google and hit enter. What this is going to do is make Satan think our Pixel 5 is a Pixel 3a, okay? So we want to type in 20 for to choose Pixel 3a and hit enter. Uh, there's something with the the Pixel 3a is less the last Pixel phone that uh, Google let uh, you see uh, all the, the, the apps and stuff, I guess. Okay, now you pick the Pixel 3a. You want to type in Y and hit enter for yes. And now you want to hit Y again for enter uh, for yes and hit enter. And your phone will restart. And now your phone, uh, if you if you go into the about phone section in your settings, it'll show Pixel 3a. Okay, but don't be scared. It's just a. Uh, it just makes the uh, same thing to think your phone is a Pixel 3a. That's all. Uh, there you guys have it. You have root access to your new Pixel 5, and it's, it passes safety net as well. So you can use uh, Google Pay apps. Google Pay and you can uh, find special apps on the Play Store that normally rooted phones are not allowed to see. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this uh, video is informative and helps you guys out to uh, root your phone. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to do a uh, installation of a custom ROM so you can uh, check that out. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Please uh, share this video if you can for me. Uh, please like or dislike. Uh, comment down below, please. Uh, let me know how how you guys like this video or you don't like it. You know, let me know. And uh, please subscribe if you, if you haven't done so already. And please hit the bell notification so you get notified when new videos of mine comes out. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a beautiful day and a good one.